Hello grade 12s, so we're moving on to the next section which is right angle triangles theorem working from slides 1 to 15 from the third powerpoint of proportionality geometry. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just missed the first few slides because uh, they're just talking about the theorem and how to prove the theorem. So what I'm going to show you is how does this theorem actually work, okay? So what you need is you need a right angle triangle, which you can see here, this ABC, the big one. Then what you need is you need a line from that vertex of that perpendicular down to the third side, and that must be perpendicular over there. Then you get these things coming out over here. So we've got this AB squared is equal to BD times BC, AD squared is equal to BD times DC, and AC squared is equal to BC times DC. Now, whenever you use one of these things, the reason for this, you know, you get your statement reason column. Your, for your reason column, it's going to be perpendicular from right angle vertex. That is your reason. And you'll see how I use that just now with uh, some examples. Okay. Now, the reason why we say these three, thing, these three things is because we have similar triangles. And you know, with your similar triangles, you get your proportions coming out and these things will come out just from that. Okay, now you're probably thinking, oh, how am I going to memorize all of these things? It's not too bad. So if we look at this first one here, we've got from the main 90 degrees, we've got the AB. Okay, so AB will be equal to BD times BC. Okay, so you see it's not too bad. That one squared equals that times that. So this is the blue one. If we look at the next one, we've got AD squared, this inside one, will be equal to BD times DC. Okay, so that's that one there. Then we've got the third one, which is AC squared, will be equal to the CD times CB, which is that one over there. Okay, so not too bad in memorizing how to do it like that. Okay, so let's move on to the first example. <clears throat> the first example is saying, in triangle ABC, angle C is equal to 90 degrees. And we have that CD is perpendicular to AB. So I'm just going to mark that over here. So what we have there is we have our right angle triangle theorem uh, scenario. Where we have our main 90 and then we have a 90 degree there coming from the main one here. Okay. And what they're asking us to prove is that this BD over AD. So we have BD over AD is equal to bc squared ac squared now just by looking at it the only way i'm going to get like this ac squared and this bc squared is by using one of these things over here okay so i'm going to do bc squared first so if i have a look here bc squared equals now bc happens to be that side over there which we know is very similar to something like this. Okay, so that squared will be equal to that times that. That is what I'm going to be looking at. So this BC squared would be equal to BD times BA. So we know this is going to be BD times BA. Okay, and the reason for that is perpendicular from right angle vertex okay i'm going to do something exactly the same for the ac so the ac is on that side there so we can get ac squared would be equal to ad times ab ad times ab exactly the same reason as this perpendicular from right angle vertex. 
Okay. So how am I going to get this BC squared over AC squared? Well, I just take this entire thing divided by this entire thing here. So we're going to get BC squared over AC squared will be equal to BD times BA all over AD, AB. Okay, so you can see here that this BA will cancel with this AB and we're left with BC squared over AC squared is equal to BD over AD and that is what they required. Okay, so not too bad. Moving on to example two. Okay, so example two is saying to us that in triangle ACD, ACD, the big one, we have that CD is perpendicular to AD, so I know that this is 90 degrees, and BD is perpendicular to AC, so I'm just going to mark like that. So you can see that we can use our uh, right angled triangle theorem here. We've got our main 90 and then we've got a line coming from it with another 90. Okay, so what we want to do here, they go on to say that calculate the lengths of BC and AD if we have this AC to AB is equal to 4 to 3, which I'm going to put on the uh, diagram just now and they tell us that dc is five centimeters so dc is five centimeters here okay so let's work with this uh ratio over here so ac which is that entire length there so we know that this is four and then our ab is three Okay, that makes BC one part. Okay. And the reason why I've done this one in black ink and this one in red ink is because this is a proportion and this is a unit length. Okay. So just remember, guys, we can't compare these numbers to this number. They're totally different things. Okay. So the first thing I want to do here is... Try and find um, BC. Okay. Because I can see here if I've got this one squared would be equal to this times this. Okay. So I can incorporate my unit length with my ratios. So let's go straight into it. We know that CD squared will be equal to, so CD squared will be equal to CB times CA. Now here's the problem, grade 12s. This CD, we know it in terms of a unit length. The CB and the CA, we know in a proportion. So if you remember from my previous video, I spoke about a K, a constant of proportion. And that is what I'm going to introduce here. Okay, so we know that this is um, 5, that's our length, is equal to, now, CB, this one over here, I'm going to say it's 1K, then CA will be 4K, and AB will be 3K. Now, the K is just a constant of proportion. It's how we compare a ratio to a unit length. Okay, so CB is what? It's K times CA is 4K. My reason for saying this is perpendicular from right angle vertex. Okay, so let's solve for this. So we get 25 is equal to 4k squared. So I know that k squared is equal to 25 over 4. So k must be equal to 5 over 2. Okay. 
That means, therefore, that BC will be equal to 1 times K. So 1 times K will just give us 5 over 2 centimeters. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this K value for the rest of it. Because you can see here that I have that this is 5 centimeters. And we want to find this AD. We know what AC is. AC is 4K. So I can use Pythag. And we know what K is. K is... 5 over 2. Okay. So that means, therefore, AC will be equal to 4 times 5 over 2. And that will give us 10 centimeters. All right. So now what I can do is I can use Pythagoras. So we know that um, this squared, AD squared, will be equal to this AC squared minus our CD squared. And my reason for that is Pythag. Okay, let's just substitute our values in. So we get AD squared. AC is 10 minus CD is 5. And then we can just put this whole thing in the calculator straight away and we should get 5 root 3 centimeters. All right, grade 12s, not too bad. Stick around for the second video and uh, cheers.